Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading for mid to late August. We're going to check you guys out. Um, if this reading resonates for you, I do appreciate your love and support. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. If you want a personal tarot reading for yourself, all the details are in the description box. All right, so let's jump right in. Messages for Sagittarius. All right, I'm working on my shuffling game, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Uh, let's get the one card challenge. One card challenge for Sagittarius, please. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So you may be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, maybe someone here that just isn't very stable or secure. Maybe there are some commitment issues with this person. Um, Sagittarius, you know, if this is your energy, you may be feeling unsure if something is worth investing in. Maybe you're not in a place where you need to be, right? So give me the recent past. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups came out in the verse in the past, so maybe there was a falling out or some kind of missed opportunity. We do have the King of Swords. could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. With the Wheel of Fortune, it feels like there was some kind of faded change. Something had to happen. It, it, it feels like something here may have certainly was not moving in the right direction for you regarding this person, okay? So there may have been a lot of love here, but it does feel like there was a falling out. Maybe someone was unavailable to love or in love not in love perhaps the wheel in a verse could be indicating of you know something here that someone wasn't willing to progress okay maybe there was some kind of um cycle here give me give me the energy of the current situation we're gonna find out more about the wheel when i clarify the queen of wands that could be you we have the ace of swords in a verse and we have the six of wands in a verse so Sagittarius, you're in the energy right now where you you ought to be, right? You you know what you're worth. You know what you want. You're moving towards something, perhaps. Queen of Wands, you maybe find yourself very um, in, in a very attractive energy. You may be getting a lot of attention. You're very magnetic. Um, it could be something you're pursuing, something you're passionate about. Now, with the energy around you, Ace of Swords in a verse and the Six of Wands in a verse, something has definitely not worked out, but it's almost like it's okay. You're rising above. Ace of Swords in a verse, maybe there's someone you recently cut out of your life you stop talking to or communicating with and it feels like after doing that you're you're in a much better place okay because something here definitely may have not gone the way you wanted it to with the wheel universe six of wands universe it has not been successful but it feels like you're on top of something you're moving in the right direction your energy sagittarius page of cups maybe someone wants your forgiveness ace of pentacles in reverse for a missed opportunity it does look like there could be someone that you're dealing with, someone here that could be very apologetic. Maybe there's a lot of sorrow and guilt for something they've done, especially if they did something that led to this downfall or breakdown of a commitment, of a relationship, Ace of Pentacles. Now, we do have two feminine energies and we have one masculine. There could have been a third party, maybe someone getting in the way um, that may have caused this falling or downfall, falling out of a connection, right? So with the Queen of Pentacles, this could be someone that, is affiliated with your person maybe there is a third party maybe there's um you know a feminine energy it could be a friend a family member definitely could have had a part in this connection could be responsible for why it is the way it is right now in the foundation we have the chariot we have the four pentacles in reverse we have the ten of swords and we have the ten of wands it definitely feels like your person is going through a series of endings outside of what they may have had with you so it almost feels like Sagittarius that whoever you're dealing with if they may have had some unfinished business or some kind of relationship from the past I'm getting like a past cycle or someone that they had some kind of karma with or some kind of um deal contract with shared resources with because the queen of pentacles in a verse it feels like that's something here that has to come to an end before they can even think about moving forward with you there's a lot of guarded energy with this person Sagittarius okay you may have felt this person wasn't very honest or forthcoming 
um, you know, they were holding back, they were being very selfish with their time, their energy, their money, their resources. And that's why, you know, there, there's someone here from the past that still has some kind of power over them. Because the Ten of Wands are feeling quite burdened. They feel burdened. If something here, they have to let go before they can truly move on with you. Now, do they want to move forward with you? Yes, I do feel that because on their mind is the Chariot. The chariot is about wanting a victory, wanting to achieve something, wanting to overcome, move forward. Even with maybe some of the, the setbacks, you know? So with the Ten of Swords in reverse, this is someone that's definitely gone through some kind of ending, hardship, challenge in their life. And it feels like they're trying to rise above. So it feels like there could be an energy of you needing to be patient in the meantime. Let's see what the outcome looks like. The moon. There are things that you're not aware of, things that you don't know. The Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. So it definitely feels like coming into the near future, there is something here where... You may not see everything. You may not understand or see the big picture. The moon could talk about things that are hidden, things that are not seen, insecurities, fears. Maybe someone is afraid, right? There could be an energy where this person's afraid. They recognize this connection as being the two cups. Um, but maybe there is a fear or something from their past that is making them fearful. Now, with the Knight of Wands, it could be energy of something coming towards you or maybe you're going towards something else. We're going to see what this looks like, okay? There is some kind of move, movement or change action, okay? So let's jump right in. We're going to start off with the Queen of Pentacles in the verse, okay? Like, your comment, and subscribe. Crossing the Queen of Pentacles is the Page of Pentacles. So it definitely feels like this person has been giving very little or bare minimum because I'm seeing the energy where they didn't have much to offer to begin with. Maybe they felt like they had to be very careful about their resources, their money, their finances. And that could be why this person kind of came off a little bit stingy. But I do feel like this person is interested. There's the energy of wanting to invest more, but maybe not being in a place to do that. Give me the King of Swords. Who is this person in the past? Three of wands and a five of wands in a verse this is someone here that is trying to move on from some kind of conflict or challenge in their life so there could be something about family home um five of wands could be friends as well there is some kind of external factor that is playing into how this person's behaving with you and with the three of wands it feels like them meeting you it could have been a breath of fresh air it's like finally their ships came in but there is still some kind of conflict that they're trying to move away from so Let's take a look at the wheel. Why is the wheel of fortune in the verse? The Hierophant in the verse and the Queen of Cups. So definitely could be some kind of situation that has kept them uh, holding back or kept them feeling stuck. The Hierophant could be energy of a divorce. It could be some kind of commitment they were in. It could be a very non-committal energy. So maybe your person just isn't ready for commitment. And it could be because of their dealings or interactions association with a cancer pisces scorpio queen of cups so you know there definitely is some kind of getting past connection past relationship past trauma the wheel is telling if they haven't really maybe even dealt with it so that's why they can't really move forward give me the ace of cups i'm gonna clarify a little bit more page of wands but it does feel like there is an interest here that they have with you Sagittarius it feels like when they met you maybe you guys started dating and really hit it off there's chemistry there's attraction there's that magnetic um you know energy there so give me the energy right now ace of swords in verse it could be something they're not telling you judgment and the eight of pentacles in a verse there's something they're not telling you about making some kind of decision. It feels like they're putting off making a decision because they know right now they're not in a place to invest fully. It feels like your person knows what you expect of them because the Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, you know, you demand a lot. You know, you are in energy where you get a lot of attention. You get what you want. You're being seen as desirable. And I feel like your person actually wants to please you and take care of you even but the energy of the eight of pentacles in verse is kind of like i can't do it right now so there could be a decision your person is putting off they're not telling you about you know something they have to take care of first but the judgment could be a final decision they're wanting to make regarding you give me the six of wands in the verse king of cups and the seven of cups in the verse so this could be a cancer pisces scorpio maybe you are dealing with someone who has a lot of love for you there is that big cup very mature energy but there's still some kind of situation here where they're trying to sort through confusion maybe they had other options or other people in their life and it feels like they're now having to move away from that the seven of cups in verse are becoming clear that that's not something they want to hold on to seven of cups in verse can definitely be also moving past illusions from their past right or illusions they may have created in their head 
So give me the energy of the Page of Cups. Could be an apology coming to you. The Devil and the Knight of Cups. So yeah, I mean, before someone comes in with a love offer, Sagittarius, it feels like they're going to first address something here that they haven't been able to address. We have the Devil. Could be something that they've been holding on to. Could have been an obsession. Could have been a fear, fear of commitment. Could have been anything, addictions. There's something here where they may want to apologize first before they extend uh their proposal a, a cup of love you know so there definitely is love that's going to be offered to you ace of pentacles here the hangman in the verse and you may be needing to time to think about it the hangman can be looking at a situation differently a different perspective there is some kind of missed opportunity with this person and it feels like Sagittarius this person may come in with the knight of cups to offer love and you may be needing to reflect on it really trying to figure out if this is something you want now give me the energy of the chariot there is an energy of I want a victory I want to achieve this could be your person that you're dealing with two of wands in reverse and the empress so first there's a decision that someone has to make regarding maybe an empress energy in their life if this is not you, this could be a past feminine energy, a mother figure, or someone here. And it feels like they're still connected to that person in some way. So with the chariot, it's like they want a victory. They want to move forward with you. But there could be something they're having to cut out. And it could be this empress. Maybe someone they have a child with. Someone they had a home with. Someone they were married to. There is some kind of situation or even an ex, a past lover. Give me the four pentacles in the verse. There's something here that they feel, I can't hold on to this anymore. It may be blocking my blessings with Sagittarius. Yeah, the justice card. Someone may be finalizing a divorce. That's who it looks like to me. Finalizing a divorce, letting go of something from the past. Because something here, it's, it's like taking too much out of them. There's no balance. There's no stability in their life. Therefore, they can't offer it to you. So Sagittarius, whoever you're dealing with, it feels like there's something that they're still having to address. Something that they've been holding on to or, or tied to. Maybe, again, a codependency of some sort the devil could be a codependent connection could be again someone they have shared assets shared child with home with finances that kind of thing so they're going through some kind of hardship the justice could be a libra energy and they're trying to move forward but there are some burdens here that um are keeping them or weighing them down the ace of wands how they want to move forward with you is a new beginning new opportunity overcoming something some kind of setback this is someone that wants change with you they're wanting to move forward this is someone that's inspired motivated driven to achieve something to move forward in some kind of new direction so it feels like it will come in but it does look like there could be some delays and it even looks like there could be things that this person still has to tell you the moon card six of pentacles so there could be some hidden I would say not secrets, but things that are hidden, things that you're not aware of. And again, it's regarding reciprocity. It could be regarding um, something here that they're still having to um, take care of or something that they're still responsible for. Six of Pentacles, it's like they want to give their time to you, but there's also something else that is eating their time, their energy, their money. Okay. So with the Knight of Wands, what do we need to know? King of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Wands. There is some kind of movement you're going to be having with this person, but there is still some kind of burden that they have to put down. So it feels like in order for this to really take off, in order for you guys, two cups to come together, there's going to be a need for reciprocity and equal give and take. But it feels like that is a problem, right? King of Swords in reverse, Ten of Wands. This person has to drop the burdens, let go of something before they can actually come toward you and give to you in a fair, equal, just manner. Now, do they want to? Yes, I do believe so, which is why we have the energy of the Ace of Wands coming in for a new beginning and a fresh start. So be patient with this connection, Sagittarius. There's a lot that you don't know, a lot that may be going on behind the scenes that could be keeping this person from really moving forward with you with full force. But I do feel it would happen, okay? It will happen with time. So that is what I have. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. And I'll check you guys out soon. Take care.